how to manage underperforming sales reps. One of the most difficult aspects of managing underperforming sales reps is determining what actions you should take as a manager if a salesperson isn't meeting expectations. The reason this is so challenging is that we are dealing with multiple dynamics that influence sales behaviors and ultimately results. Here are some steps you can take to manage underperforming sales reps. One, clarify expectations. The first dynamic is making sure that expectations are clear. That is, do each of your salespeople know what you want them to do, behaviors, and what you want them to achieve, results? Two, provide feedback. Another dynamic is tracking and providing feedback on performance gains and gaps on a consistent basis. All too often, managers forget to point out what their salespeople are doing right, their performance gains, and wait too long before they discuss when a salesperson is performing below expectations, their performance gaps. In fact, some managers neglect pointing out performance gaps until they are forced to conduct an annual performance review. As a result, they live with subpar performance way longer than necessary. Ideally, managers should be analyzing performance on an ongoing basis and consistently providing feedback. Three, focus on performance gains. Focusing on performance gains is a great way to motivate and empower reps and should be as specific as possible. Unfortunately, hollow comments like great quarter have very little impact since they do not clearly point out what the salesperson is doing well and the benefit associated with that behavior. A more meaningful statement to a rep that just beat their number is great quarter. Not only did you exceed quota, but you also brought in seven new accounts. This bodes well for future quarters. Nice way to set yourself up for success. Four, address performance gaps. Sales managers should be proactive in addressing performance gaps and not assume that performance will improve on its own. It's very rare that managers claim they should have waited longer prior to addressing a performance issue. The first step in addressing a performance gap is one of introspection by the manager. That includes ensuring that expectations are clear and determining whether there are outside forces that are impacting performance beyond the sales rep's control. As a benchmark, the manager can look to whether the performance gap is prevalent across his or her team or isolated to that individual salesperson. In the event multiple salespeople are having the same issue, it is probably worth a closer examination of the expectations that were set. Were they clearly communicated and were they reasonable? Assuming the performance gap rests with the individual salesperson, the manager should then engage in an open, supportive discussion to determine the underlying causes. As a starting point, they should share what they have observed and over what period of time. They should then make sure they provide an opportunity for the sales rep to respond to ensure there's agreement on the performance gap. In the event there's any level of disagreement, the manager should clearly restate the expectations and set up a meeting to review the sales rep's progress. Assuming there is agreement on the performance gap, the manager, with the salesperson's input, has to determine whether this gap is due to a lack of motivation or due to a deficiency in skills or knowledge. This is essential since the management action required will depend on these factors. Five, taking action. Unfortunately, when it comes to taking actions, managers often feel like their options are limited to living with the status quo, putting the salesperson on a performance plan, or terminating the salesperson. In reality, managers have a much broader set of options they can use, including empowering, training, coaching, counseling, discipline, and if necessary, termination. Most importantly, keep in mind that you are actually supporting the rep's development when you are proactive in addressing performance gains and gaps. Thank you.